and a new study finds most hospitals are woefully unprepared when it comes to cyber attacks and the impact on patient care can be substantial. Here's ABC's Lionel Moise. It's a growing problem for hospitals nationwide, cyber attacks. Experts say the number of attacks has doubled since 2016 and is driving up the cost of medical care for all of us. The University of Vermont Hospital Network knows the damage cyber criminals can do. Our phones weren't working. We actually sent some staff to Best Buy to buy walkie talkies and we started switching over to our paper systems. Dr. Stephen Leffler says the crisis stretched for 28 days. 1,300 hospital servers and 5,000 computers had to be wiped, a job so big the governor called in the National Guard. He says no patient data was leaked, but the impact on care was substantial. We've had three years of COVID. This was much harder by a factor of 10. There were people that were scheduled for staging cancer operations, and we had to make a decision should we do it? And we did them when it was appropriate. Some were able to delay. Experts say hospital networks are ripe targets because they're often more vulnerable than other companies and because hospitals are more likely to pay a ransom. In the Vermont case, the hospital ended up spending more than $50 million to resolve the attack. A cyber attack on a hospital is not an economic crime. It is not a victimless crime. These are direct threats to patient safety and threats to life crimes. A new government analysis finds nearly all hospitals, 96% are operating with critical systems or software programs that have known vulnerabilities, but only 53% have a plan to address those vulnerabilities. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York. Experts are urging hospitals to beef up their cybersecurity and train staff on how to operate without computers, just in case.